kids are getting ready to go back to school. Some of them are ready started, and we know that this can be a stressful time for many families. This week, we're helping you prepare, today focusing on mental health. Back to school can come with mixed emotions for some students. Jenna DeAngelis covers health and wellness and spoke with the experts about ways to tackle a new school year with your kids. I'm really excited. Stella Kostakis is looking forward to 11th grade, but shared she's also a bit stressed. It's a big year. Preparing for college and taking more AP classes. In preparation, she's getting back in a routine, waking up early, eating a healthy breakfast, and limiting time on her phone. Too much. Screen time can be really distracting, especially during the school year. Find things to fill that time instead makes it a lot easier. Like exercising, sports. Who better to help than her mom? Staten Island University Hospital Dr. Anna Kostakis, who also shares suggestions for fellow parents. Having a bit of dress rehearsals leading up to school, sort of implementing that structure and routine. Talk, 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 right? Find the space where your kids will open up. Uh, for one of my kids, it's the car. Go for an ice cream, go for a walk, um, but start to open up those conversations. Both doctors we spoke with stressed the importance of communication, not just talking, but also listening to your child. Try to better understand where some of that anxiety is coming from. Mount Sinai Hospital psychologist Dr. Sunia Tabani recommends coming up with a cope ahead plan, a step by step way to help students navigate back to school anxiety. Part of that cope ahead plan could be identifying what the issue is, understanding the emotion underlying it and then thinking of more actionable coping strategies. So if your child is feeling nervous about not being able to make friends, then perhaps rehearsing or doing a role play of initiating small talk with kids in class. If your child is nervous about being in the classroom, she recommends visiting the school before the first day. If they're a first timer heading to kindergarten, experts suggest allowing them to bring a piece of home like a teddy bear for comfort. Little steps that may make a big difference. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS News, New York. And if you're interested in learning more about the Cope Ahead plan for back-to-school anxiety, you can find it at cbsnewyork.com.